with a container setting guaranteed for four to six to eight weeks your place is complete for you to use rather than waiting for mortar and concrete to cure waiting for you know uh, masons to come in to do their work before plumbers will come in with container everything is done can done simultaneously Hello again and welcome to Faces of Ghana on YEN TV with me, Philip Abutiati. This is a show where we show you that indeed ideas rule the world and not money. Today again we've identified another young man who is doing exploits. He's doing something very interesting. You know, containers are noted to just, just to be used for shops and stores. But this gentleman is transforming the containers into office spaces or modern office spaces. Today we are here in his office to interact with him. So before we bring you the conversation, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on all our social media platforms. And if there's any story, remember to just feel free and then enter our DMs. We'll follow up on the story. So now let me come back to the gentleman so he introduces himself. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. All right, we would like to know a bit about you. Could you just tell us okay. about yourself? Uh, my name is Benkin Manti. I'm a graduate of Ken USD, civil engineer by profession. I'm the managing director of Norm Company Limited. All right. So Norm Company Limited. When did you start it? Uh, we started in May 2014. Okay. Yeah. Following um, a graduation from school, worked and I worked in Huawei um, Technologies in fiber optics, and I worked in Air Energy as the um, project um, head of project for Air Energy in the construction of four stations. Uh, so Norm was actually um, built in May 2014 and took full effect um, in 2018. Yeah. I see. How, how did you get the idea? Because for someone who does civil engineering, who would expect you to, you are even working outside the country. A lot of people have the perception that, you know, it's all rosy out there. It seems more like you had it all. Why did you decide to come back and, you know, do this very unusual idea? Um, having been in the construction industry for some time, um, we realized the cost of uh, you know constructing even just a basic accommodation for young people is quite a challenge and also looking at the high cost of rent is also a challenge um, in this country so i think um i, I we sat down for a while I sat down with my team for a while and um, the thought about using shipping containers for accommodation for offices came into mind first i thought um it's something that couldn't be done and i made the research and i realized that's all over the world i mean Malaysia, there are five star hotels with containers. Um, all over the world, UK, US, they are using containers for swimming pools, houses, offices. So I said, okay, then why not, uh, you know, try this? And then um, that's how it came. We did our research, did our prototypes, and our first project was an office project in Takrade, which was a store building, and we used seven containers um, to do that for the clients. He wanted um, um, a brick and mortar work but we are able to convince we we're able to convince him to use the containers and then that's came off and then we had our that was our first client and then we took it over from there this is the first time i'm hearing that you can use containers for all these things even a story building seven containers yeah. uh, what's the problem is it that in ghana it looks like people have not really explored this is it ignorance is it that we are not being taught so it was a challenge um i think now the generation that's coming up now we are sort of thinking outside the box if you look at this new crop of our generation with the thought that we have in mind always looking to solve problems i think that's the generation we are in now so once we're able to alleviate it we're able to alleviate this high rent and this issue you know that's that's the approach we are that's the approach we are making to you know reduce the cost of production of a house and construction make housing affordable make housing for everybody. It's a basic human right for everybody to live and to live well in a good environment. Now, you talked about your first client and then you made mention of the fact that he wanted the mortar and the brick kind of yeah. structure. That's what a lot of people are used to. Yeah. Now, with the new product that you are introducing onto the market, how yeah. easy or difficult or challenging okay. is it? So, the challenge mostly is mostly the interior and also one, convincing the clients to go with the container instead of the traditional um, ways of building. With the container setting guaranteed for four to six to eight weeks, your place is complete for you to use. Rather than waiting for mortar and concrete to cure, waiting for you know 
uh, masons to come in to do their work, the four plumbers will come in with container, everything is done, can done simultaneously. Once the container is brought to site and it's cut and the design is approved, everything can be done in the container. And there are several ways which we can re-engineer these containers, several shapes. Then you can turn the container upside down, diagonal, anyhow, to make sure that you get what the clients want and what we want to achieve in it. And it's cost effective and it's, it's, it's really fast. I was coming to costs. Now, comparing um, containers with the traditional structures that we know, uh, you said it's cost intensive, but how? Um, can you give us like figures? Okay, so for normal construction compared to the container, um, it costs about 30 to 40 percent less to build the container. And your time for the construction is cheaper. And in construction, everybody knows as time goes on during construction, the project becomes expensive. So if you have to build a one bedroom house and which now they are selling in other places for over 100,000 CDs, over 120,000 CDs, you can get a 40 foot one bedroom, like a studio um, for about 50,000 50, Ghana CDs, starting from 50,000 Ghana CDs. I think it is fair and it's, it's, it's something that can be afforded. And with the payment plan, I think everybody can do something like that and get a decent place to stay in. How about durability? See, because one would argue that well, the container is made of metal, it may, it may rust. Those challenges, okay. how durable is it? Okay, so the container in itself, natural self, has its weight supporting and load bearing capacities. On the ships, they are placed about 10 stacks on each on each other. The ship is where, on the, on the high sea is where, you know, the ship are battered by waves. We all know the salt content in the sea and all that. The containers primarily are coated to withstand rust for about 25 years minimum. So bearing in mind the load capacity and what it stores in and how it can carry its load and we use it as a housing uh, you know, facility or an office facility, which is not really bearing that much load and painting and all these anti-rust properties, you are, you, are, you are secured of about, I think you are sure of about 40 years minimum before any um, maintenance is done on this. Now, when you came up with the idea, what were some of the funny um, 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 comments you heard? Okay. Did people try discouraging you? How was it like? Um, for you? I think um, Africa and Ghana, what the problem is now is change. People find it hard to accept new things. And we have a lot of pride as Africans. People said, oh, why would I live in a container? Why would I, it's too hot. It's, you know, not even knowing the benefits of not even having the, the privilege to, or the chance to enter into one. All these things came about. I mean, it got to a point, I was thinking it will not fly because, you know, the perception is, why should I live in a container? But somebody who, who, who think of building a house, a dream house, use about 10 years, 20 years. People have died, not even finished their, dream house, if people have gone on retirement, they've never finished their dream house and they're living in you know, rented apartments and rented properties throughout. So something and we said, no, we have to keep, you know, keep pushing. So now the idea is selling. People are getting the idea that, you know, containers can be done into homes, offices, and once you enter into it, you don't even know that you're in a container home. So you are told, or oh, so we clad the exterior, that's when you know that you're in a container home. I see, now there are a lot of young people with ideas very 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 interesting ideas some of them don't have they think they don't have the support some of them think they don't have the funding they don't have the finances now we are here to inspire what do you tell such young people some have talent so i know a guy who can baba but he sees it as no he, he wants to work you know in a white collar job he wants to get a white collar job what, what's what is a piece of advice that you give okay. to such young people okay so now in the world africa has the youngest population and most of the population we, we are skilled africa has, has a lot of skilled and intellectual young people moving around all they need is a chance and whatever you decide to do as a young adult whatever dreams you have whatever you have to push come what me you just have to push maybe you can borrow money from friends to start a business and you have to be honest as much as possible honesty should lead you for everything you do because if you are dishonest with a friend who has lent you money, that means you have to, you know, cut off ties with the friend. And you know, that's how business starts. Business is all about honesty. Honesty to your client, honesty to yourself, honesty to your employees. That's how it starts. So they should keep pushing and they should keep aspiring. There's a big word out there. You know, somebody Elon Musk has sent um, his car into space. 
and this is space so that means that he has conquered the earth he now wants to conquer space so it's up to africa to also conquer our land make use of our resources and make sure that we, are, we put our best foot forward in everything now in case a viewer wants to reach out to you and what medium can a person reach okay. out to you maybe your contact your social media yes. handles okay. www.nomgh.com you can email us at info at nomgh.com then on, on instagram nom underscore co underscore ltd and on twitter the same as nom underscore co under ltd then our telephone number is 05000-20222 and also um, 0243-447044 and now our motto is lifetime solutions so from the beginning of the project to the end even throughout we have solutions to everything so with the rise in our population and you know as we earlier there is this accommodation deficit and lots of issues one issue that comes up when it comes to housing is space yeah what amount of space would i need okay. to 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 maybe establish a container structure yeah. as compared to maybe a traditional okay. concrete and mortar structure okay. um now we are aware that the land is scarce well in the urban areas mm -hmm. and if you look if you're looking at the estate developers now a plot of land which is 100 by 70 now they divided to two to build two houses and with the container which comes in different sizes 20 footer 40 footer and you know we can even use sandwich panels a quarter plot is the minimum size you need for a one bedroom two bedroom house it can go as high as you want we can go as high as 10 floors seven floors as high as you want once the foundation is solid and we make sure that we do a, a correct foundation for you and i think we are good to go so a quarter plot is the minimum that you need but if you have a bigger space you want more containers you are good to go also and you can also apportion some to do a swimming pool. Now we are about to enter into the area of using containers for swimming pool and we hope by the next two months our first um, prototype will come out for a container swimming pool. It will be the first in Ghana. Wow, how about pricing? Okay, so with the one bedroom, um, starting price is from 55,000 cities. It comes with um, the foundation, the container, plumbing, lights, fixtures, fans, towel, washroom, towel floor, and their kitchen cabinet all inclusive yes please so, so all you have to do is just to bring your bed your furniture and then you are good to go wow yeah so that's the starting price also it depends on the type of tiles the finishing you want you know a client who says that okay um he wants a luxurious finishing so that one the price will differ and also the type of cladding that the, the clients want wood cladding um cement board cladding and a local one cladding all types of cladding that's um we can use for a two bedroom house the starting price is from 88,000 Ghana cities also two bedroom one and suites and um, general washroom kitchen and tile floors you know plasterboard ceiling well insulated gla glazed windows and all that so I mean and the, and the three bedroom starts from 110,000 Ghana cities okay so what now we are trying to do is to get them um, crowdfunding or investments so as to you know make sure that the payments norm takes about a, a pressure of or, or a percentage of the payment while the client you know can ease out ease um take time to pay for the whole cost at least if you make about 40 percent payment we start the construction maybe by the time you're done with about 80 percent you can move in and spread the rest later but if we are there the, once we get that aim of getting the number of the funds the quantum of funds that we want we can just give it out of mortgage basis and once you pay on a deposit you can move in and then you spread the rest over a number of years and i'm sure you are creating jobs what's your staff strength and uh, so we have a permanent staff of 10 and we have a casual staff of about 40 made up of welders carpenters glazing um, and people who do the plasterboard and all that so yeah so in terms of your clients people you've worked for and with could you name some of them who are some of the prominent okay. people you've worked with okay so we are really privileged to work with some of these companies who have bought into our ideas and we work with MPA. We currently did um, their field offices for the electronic cargo tracking system in all the four depots across the country. We work for Kemsolve, we work for Agrola, we, we work for Royal Magma and Intema, and individual, individuals as well. We've, we are currently working on, um, we did a two bedroom for Kings Realty, which um, people are now occupying now. We've done a couple of projects for individuals as well, offices, and, and, and mining companies, 
hope good capital and all that we've worked for them as well so we are really appreciative of the trust and uh, that they had in, in buying to idea and we hope uh, more people will come on board all right so you heard from banking Monty. he is the ceo of norm company limited uh, they transform containers into ultra modern structures that you could occupy for more of such stories remember to subscribe to our youtube channel my name is philip abutiati this is Yen TV, and the show is Faces of Ghana. I'll see you again on another edition of the show.